Hello guys, welcome back to Card Magic 6. Uh, it's been a while uh, since I made a video, and I thought I'd make a video today. Um, today's, <clears throat> this has been a topic that's been storming around, uh, even in my head. Uh, it's been all over uh, YouTube, you know, it's something that most people are asking questions about and stuff. It's how to store your playing cards, okay? Now there are multiple answers out there. Um, I'll show you what I do, and then the other types of methods uh, you might like of how to store your own playing cards, depending on how much you have, and what kind of cards you have at the same time. So um, today's video is just gonna be basically storing playing cards. Uh, it's something that I've been looking into for the past two years, and there's tons of options, um, you know, from like carrot cases, to sleeves, to shelves, to like cabinets. So um, I'll show you what I have and as well I'll show you what you can get um, depending on your collection. So here we go! So as you can see here, um, this is the first thing. Um, so people who have about like hundreds of decks, or even just a hundred decks, um, this would be a perfect solution. <clears throat> so right here, what you see here is a hundred uh, deck shelf. This is made by TCC. Um, so this is just it just carries a hundred decks. Uh, you basically assemble it. It's um, made out of some cheap wood. So. I mean, it holds your decks very well, looks nice, and it's a really good uh, display that you can hang up also on the wall. This is right now on top of my desk. Um, <clears throat> but you can see here, it has it holds 100 decks. You know, the decks just come right out. Very, very nice. So, uh, this is what I have. I just bought this recently. So, this is something that can hold your decks. These are sold out pretty much everywhere, but we'll be back in stock or in stores around March 26th. So, this is definitely something I recommend you buying if you have a lot of decks. Um, again, it holds 100 decks um, per like shelf, so you can buy actually multiples of these. These cost around 50 US dollars or around 75 Canadian. Um, again, they hold um, most decks, even decks in uh, DS1s. So if you know the sleeves, uh, these are like the DS1 sleeves in a deck. I put this on my Smoke and Mirrors V5. But they're just these little plastic cases that you know go on a deck. Uh, I'll just show you another example here. Um, so these little plastic cases that you can put on your deck these also uh, with the deck on fit inside here so very very um, useful you know if you want to keep your deck double protected with a case on like a sleeve as well as on the shelf so uh, this is the first solution so if you have a smaller deck collection um, I would recommend you to get um, some small kind of case or you know there are like uh, crystal deck cabinets but they're very expensive uh, I bought this case right here uh, this is off of Amazon I bought this case for about um, I think $24.99 so very very cheap uh, and it carries a lot of decks um, here is where I will store my decks right so even if I'm going out anywhere and I want to take decks or even magic this is my normal case that I would take so this holds a bunch of decks uh, I'll just show you for example, like here, you can just stack your decks up right along here, and you can stack them up. They hold a lot, um, probably about like 30 to 40 decks. I did make a deck collection video a while ago, and I showed it in this one. So I'm not talking like this year, last year, I'm talking like uh, four years ago. I made a deck collection video with this de uh, deck case. So I put uh, a few decks in here. I think I had my whole entire collection here. Uh, that consisted of like 40 decks. So this thing holds a lot. Uh, definitely uh, and it's really really cheap and I think it's worth it only issue is it's uh, you know very very hard uh, to like keep your decks without like they're gonna damage the boxes because of the spacing here 
um but that's fine i mean if you buy ds1 sleeves you should be okay but if not uh this shouldn't be a problem like again you can even just set them up like this if you want or just set them up like this depending so that's up to you but again this is another solution that i had which was using the uh the deck case like this it's very very cheap um definitely something that's good plus it has a zipper you know so i can zip it up and uh, take it wherever i want right it has zips on the side you can see there but yeah and it has a nice lid and everything so good to carry cards plus your magic tricks so you know any other like um cubing effects or coin tricks or any other close-up effects can go in here so that's one solution uh also if you do have a small deck collection uh brick boxes are another way to go uh, i used to use brick boxes just recently all right so i have a, i think three of these uh, there's another one sitting around so brick boxes are my best solution i got these i ordered uh, 12 rider back decks and i got them in one of these off of amazon and then this brick box right here uh, i got the dragon backs i had like a 12 a brick of the blue dragon backs sorry the red dragon backs um but yeah so you have brick boxes and the good thing is you can keep your cards in here uh like sideways so you can keep them this way and then line them up so that's a nice way but what i did is i kept them standing up like this and had um three rows of five so it would carry 15 decks of cards so that's a very good solution uh in my opinion you know each brick box carries about 15 decks though it's called a brick box yeah that's if you keep them like this then you'll get only 12 decks but you keep them up standing like this and you can get easily like um here i'll just put some decks in for example right so you can easily get like five decks in one of these rows right here perfect and then you have another five here and another five here and that should fit and that'll get you like 15 decks um right here and it just stands really nice as well so it looks really really good um so yeah this was my other solution is using brick boxes um to store your playing cards so definitely another go-to uh they sell brick boxes on their own but they're very expensive i think um you can get like one of these boxes like the actual good ones like an actual you know nice leather one with like a magnetic clasp or something with a strap or something those cost around maybe like 12 13 dollars a brick box so you can get one of the nicer ones with a nice viewing window or when you order a brick just keep these boxes i keep a lot of them because i have ordered bricks um from stores so these are the nice brick boxes these are obviously USB-C. uh they're not that good again they're just cheap paper but um they work uh work as for displaying and stuff so definitely a really really good idea uh to keep your cards uh displayed at the same time safe and if you want these are also really nice for carrying you keep your cards in here and you can take them with you uh wherever you go so that's for that uh, solution and um just the last storage solution i want to talk about um here we go okay so my final solution uh if you have uh decks of cards that like in a series or a box set you know they're like a bundle kind of deck or uh, sorry bundle of decks like the smoke and mirror set or you know like all the jerry nuggets colors or the rider backs um if you have some of those decks um that you want to display or if you have like an exclusive deck like the virtuoso v1 uh, deck like the virgin ones or the orbit decks or something like that any exclusive limited edition or just decks you want to display there's a solution for that as well and that is carrot cases so carrot cases has been a big thing uh, for the past couple of years and most people buy them for their deck displays of course uh, i specifically bought this one right here for a deck that is coming on the way uh, i'll feature that in my next video i'll show you the deck um, once i get it but i'm not gonna you know have any spoilers or anything yet so you'll see i'll also keep it in this case but for now i'm keeping my orbit v6 these are uh, brand new um of course these are sold out in a lot of places so um i tend to keep one of these i bought this and never opened it so yeah but as you can see here this is the uh, xst slip carrot case so the reason why it's called a slip carrot case is because it's a bigger version of the actual carrot case so it can hold a bigger deck uh you can see there's a reason why this uh, deck slides around because if you have a deck that's a bit bigger or a bit thicker or something um then you can also put it in here as well it'll fit uh that's just the reason why i got the bigger one uh but yeah so how this works is you kind of get these really really nice like boxes so you can see i can shape this and the deck's not just going to come out all right it's, it's pretty stable here and how this is hold up it, it's held up here 
at the back with a magnetic um, door basically. So it's a little lid like this. It has uh, four neodymium magnets on the corners and they just, uh, you know, attract right there. And just go on really, really easily. It's really nice. And then you can see if you want to remove the deck. Uh, I put this glass little thing because you get also like this glass piece which is um <clears throat> which just catches a lot of fingerprints if you touch it so yeah and then you have your deck in here so it's it's really really nice as you can see it's it's a really good like acrylic plastic it looks like really really thick uh just like thick acrylic and it looks nice when it's on display i also comes with these little four um sticky bump things i don't know actually they're just supporters i think they're a bit rubber uh rubbery slash they're very hard rubber yeah so basically these are just to support the uh, case when standing on the ground or on a table or anything like that so it's really really useful for that um you know comes with these nice stands so you can display it nicely it's a nice clear case you know very very good build quality um also again i just got this recently um as you can see uh you can just put your deck inside and you can just close the door and then there you go and you can put it on display like you can just keep it anywhere you'd like and it looks really really nice like it looks like you know it's sacred or it's <laughs> just like an exclusive something that you put inside a little glass case where it can't be opened but yeah this one just makes it look like your deck is really exquisite or something so this is something where it also helps you know to keep these cases from sorry to keep your decks from getting dusty or just picking up anything dust heat moisture anything like that the reason you can put it in these cases it helps with that right it doesn't damage the deck anyway possible um the other types of uh, deck carrot cases i will show you i'll just put some pictures up and uh, you can see them here there's tons there's the 12 deck uh, case, which is like a brick box style. There's also like a huge display, uh, like a, a square basically, that holds a four by three, uh, so 12 decks in total. Also there's an eight deck one, there's a six deck uh, brick box, plus like a six deck, like uh, basically imagine this times uh, six. So it'll just kind of span and they're all connected together. And you just have dividers. Those look really, really nice. Of course, if I have um, many, many decks, I get one of those and display them. It'll be good for my Monarchs. I think I have well, all four colors. I have all four colors, so I could get one for that. Um, also, like David Blaine decks, I have about a few. And then even Riderback colors, I have a ton. So also another reason to get them. They're just good for display. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, so they're just good to get for display or uh for showcasing your decks basically so anyway guys that's the end of the video um hope you enjoyed all my uh you know deck storage solutions here um i hope they helped you know i uh, hope i helped you here uh make a decision on what or how you would like to store your playing cards um i'll leave the links to everything uh you can find in the description so carrot cases the deck shelf and then that amazon case as well as brick boxes so all of those things I'll leave in the description down below. Uh, you guys can go check them out. You can purchase one of your own. And uh, let me know if you guys want to see any other videos like this. Or anything you'd like to see. Just leave it in the comments down below. Um, but also uh, another thing is um, the uh, color changes. I was going to teach a lot more color changes on the channel. Uh, seems like you guys like color changes and uh, sleight of hand more than the actual tricks uh, that I used to teach. So instead of tricks, I'll start teaching, you know, like changes, color changes, fans, maybe um, sleight of hand movements, this and that. So that's what I'll start doing anyway. Um, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching uh, and I uh, hope to see you in another video. Bye.